Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to do a fast and dirty uh, tutorial here on how to access repeaters and reflectors in the DR mode. So the first thing we're going to do with the 9700, and it'll be similar on the other radios, is get into the DR mode, and this will be this button right here, the DR, it's call in DR. You're going to long press the DR until that menu comes up. <clears throat> Currently we're on the uh, Mount Baldy repeater here in Medford, KE7MDI. That shows right here, <clears throat> Medford 443775. If you long hold that, now let's see here. If you Press it instantly, not long hold it, but press it instantly. It'll give you a list of repeaters. And you've got uh, United Kingdom, Midwest, uh, all over the world. And we are in the USA West. So you uh, will choose the West. And then we've got, uh, there's the Manor repeaters right here. Uh, but we're on the uh, KE7 MDI uh, repeater. <clears throat> it's the one that we're going to use and uh, we just click that and then it uh, gives us the uh, current repeater. You can also go into near repeater and this uh, if your latitude and longitude is correct you'll uh, if you when you put it in here or if you or if you have a GPS which is even better but that'll give you the repeaters near me uh, repeaters DV it says repeaters FM but there is no database in there uh, at this point but uh, near repeater digital voice again it'll give you uh, the closest repeaters and you can choose the one that you want and uh, but that's uh, that's kind of beside the point what I wanted to do is is show you basically how to access repeaters and reflectors with the uh, DR mode so you just give one fast click on the use repeater there we go <clears throat> and then if you go into reflector okay and then uh, use reflector or link link to yes, link to reflector and uh, uh, then direct input okay then you can choose the reflector of your choice right now it's at 30 Charlie but if we wanted to uh, connect to 14 Charlie there we go 14 Charlie and then set and now it says link to 14 Charlie and then all we would have to do is press the push to talk button remote system linked and now we are linked to 14 Charlie just that simple now if we wanted to click the push to talk button and uh, raise somebody we could do that but uh, we want to try to keep this video down to a reasonable time limit so uh, then basically what we'll do what we can do is uh, go into your call sign and that'll give you the CQCQ which is what we're on right now that's the talk channel the U is unlinked repeater, uh, I is repeater status, and echo test uh, is for echo test. And if you just simply uh, try the echo test, it'll repeat back what you transmit into the repeater to be able to give you an idea of what your radio is sounding like. But right now we're going to hit the U, and then we're going to key up, and this is going to unlink us from 14 Charlie. Remote system unlinked. There we go. Simple as that. So that's the uh, that's how you link to a reflector. And uh, okay, so <clears throat> now that you've unlinked the repeater, what you want to do is press that quickly once, not long hold, but uh, a quick press. Go back into your call sign and change it back to the CQCQ channel. 
That way uh, you're ready to talk on the repeater locally. So basically that's it on the DR mode. That's how you, uh, <clears throat> that's how you access the reflectors. Uh, repeaters are accessible, but uh, to my knowledge, and I uh, don't know everything, to my knowledge, other repeaters in the system are not accessible via the DR mode. However, they are accessible. Now the way I do it, the old way, and uh, right now the MVI repeater is on 443.775 channel 36. So I have it programmed into my channel 36. Channel 37 is the echo channel. So basically, uh, test echo, test echo, one, two, three. Test echo, test echo, one, two, three. That's how the uh, echo channel works. And then if I uh, go to channel 38, that's the interrogate channel. That'll uh, tell you if you're linked or not. And then channel 39 is the unlink channel. So I have four channels for my commands. And then if I continue on, uh, I have the uh, Grants Pass repeater programmed in there so I can link to Grants Pass if I uh, on channel 40 so uh, from here here from Medford if I want to link to the Grants Pass repeater I will just key down remote system linked so now I'm linked to Grants Pass uh, that's simple now once I'm done talking with the people in Grants Pass or whatever, I just go back to the unlink channel, which is channel 39, and I key up again. Remote system unlinked. Just that simple. And then uh, uh, the reflectors and repeaters that I have programmed into channels, they're not, uh, they're not all of them worldwide, obviously. They're just the ones that I most frequently use. But uh, I go to channel... 41, that's the Manners 2 point, or 1.2 gig uh, when it's active, which it's not. Channel 42 is the uh, Manner 440. Uh, channel 43 is the Manner, the 2 meter Manner D Star repeater. Uh, channel 44 is Reflector 1 Charlie. Uh, then I've got 12 Alpha, 14 Charlie, 13, 30 Charlie, uh, a Mount Shasta repeater. Uh, Sherwood up in the Portland area, uh, Reflector 29 Baker, I can't even remember what that one is in there for, I, I put it in there for some reason, uh, 73 Alpha, which is one that I use uh, a lot, and uh, then there's the uh, quad net, and uh, that's all that I have programmed in. If I wanted more, I could uh, manually program them in. And the way I manually program them in is I have, uh, uh, you can download the free ICOM software that is available on the ICOM website. And uh, uh, if you want a idea of what that looks like, uh, how you program it by channel, in my opinion, it's much easier and faster to do it the way I do it instead of the DR mode. But uh, I'll show you here in a minute uh, uh, what it looks like uh, in the program in the program area uh, on uh, how that is set up. Okay, guys, this is uh, how I do D Star connection to reflectors and repeaters via a channelized mode versus the DMR mode. I find the channelized version simpler, faster, uh, but it's more pain to begin with. It uh, requires programming uh, all this into each channel, uh, but once the pain is over, it's, uh, it's really easy. So just going to explain exactly how, uh, uh, how I do it, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. So. Basically, uh, my local repeater, KE7MVI, on Mount Baldy is uh, channel 36 through channel 53, okay? So I have four command channels. I have 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. 36 is the talk channel, 
37 is the echo channel where you can uh, uh, talk into the uh, microphone and it'll repeat back what you just said. Uh, the interrogate uh, channel, which will uh, interrogate it, let you know if it's linked or not. And then there's the U channel, which stands for unlink. So you can unlink the reflector or repeater that you have previously linked uh, when you're all done. So how that works is channel 36, the talk channel. Uh, the first thing that you program in is KE7 MVI Mount Baldy's frequency. And uh, that's 443.775000, and it's a uh, positive ops offset duplex at uh, 5 megahertz, and uh, you program digital mode. So once you've got that all in there, you just duplicate that all the way down, and it's all the same, exactly the same. Okay, then uh, from channel 6, you go all the way over, and you can see, just like in the DR mode, uh, it shows the talk channel as being CQ, CQ, CQ. And the uh, repeater one shows to be uh, originating from KE7MVI on Mount Baldy. B is the 440 band. And uh, it's going out through KE7MVI's gateway, which is the internet connection. Okay, so that's exactly what those, uh, what those mean. Exactly the same thing for the echo, interrogate, and uh, unlink commands. Uh, they basically come over here and you uh, uh, have the EI and U. And uh, then again, exactly the same on where it's originating from and where it's going into and out of. So that's how that works. Then for the repeaters and the reflectors that I commonly connect to, uh, for instance, channel number 40 is the Grants Pass repeater, the KE7 LKX repeater. So in channel 40, I have it identified as Grants Pass. Again, this is all the same because we're using the Mount Baldy repeater. And then you come over here and the instead of CQ, E, I, and U, we've got it identified as uh, the call sign identified as KE7 LKX. B for 440, it's the 440 frequency, and L stands for link. So the command is link to the KE7LKX440 repeater. It's basically what that's saying. And uh, over here, it's exactly the same all the way down for everything. It's uh, uh, saying that we're uh, going through the KE7MVI B440 repeater uh, through the KE7MVI gateway. And uh, same explanation for everything else all the way down. And I've got uh, basically uh, Grants Pass. I've got uh, the three uh, D-Star repeaters in the, at the Rogue Valley meter, ma the Rogue Valley Manor plugged in here. I've got Reflector One Charlie, which is the worldwide uh, D-Star gate, uh, D-Star repeater. Uh, excuse me, it's the worldwide D-Star reflector. There we go. And uh, uh, for all over the world, you can talk all over the world on that one. I've got uh, 12 Alpha in here, 14 Charlie. That's a nice, uh, not real active, but a lot of really nice guys on there. 30 Charlie is uh, originating out of the southwest of the United States, uh, Georgia, I believe. Lots of people on that one, and uh, it's international as well. Uh, I occasionally used to hook to Mount Shasta. A couple of uh, repeaters in the Portland area in Sher Sherwood. Can't remember why I put 29 Baker in here, but it's in there. I uh, use uh, 73 Alpha uh, on numerous occasions. So basically, the ones that I uh, that I typically use. Uh, then going down here, channel 58 through channel 74. If I were to be, if I were to change frequencies and go to the uh, Grants Pass D Star repeater uh, instead of the Mount Baldy repeater. Well, I'd have the same type of programming all over again, only it's this time it, everything would be referring to the KE7LKX repeater because that's the Grants Pass repeater. So again, everything here is exactly the same, not the same as up here because the frequencies are different. But uh, all this is uh, referring to the KE7LKX Grants Pass repeater on 440.4625. So... The, repeat, the repeater frequency stays the same all the way down, duplex on, and uh, 5.0 and, and digital voice, it all stays the same. And then you can put in the uh, uh, reflectors and repeaters that you want to connect to. 
if, if you want to put in a hundred of them, if you feel like you're going to use a hundred, uh, the software will handle it. But uh, most probably you're not going to be going to a, a hundred of them on a pretty regular basis. So basically that's it, guys. Uh, I find that channelizing, once the pain is done programming it, channelizing for me makes it much easier to uh, uh, go to a reflector or a uh, uh, repeater. Uh, so, for instance, if uh, I'm on Mount Baldy and I want to go to Reflector Chirp 30 Charlie, all I got to do is dial in channel 47 and hit, hit the push to talk button and I'm there, just like that. Then when I'm done talking, all I got to do is go back up to uh, uh, my channel 39 and key up and that'll initiate the unlink command and it's a done deal. So with that, that's exactly the way uh, I do it and I hope it helps you guys out uh, whether you want to do it DR mode or uh, channelized it's up to you uh, feel free to give me a call if uh, if uh, as a matter of fact uh, if you want I can uh, send any one of you my my full uh, file uh, for the D star the free D star software if you wanted to clone your radio to mine uh, and have all this stuff instantly put into your radio that uh, is doable but uh, then you'd have to do a bunch of changing on uh, on the other stuff as well changing your call sign and, and other stuff so it's doable uh, you're welcome to it uh, it's up to you 73 and 7 rbp we're out